Daoud Gashi walks home past what appear to be ordinary hills, but they are mounds of ash. He's lived for 40 of his 65 years in Dardeshte, a village at the base of the huge mounds created by decades of dumping the burned remains of the coal used to run Kosovo's main power plants. Daoud and others in his village say they have suffered years of sickness because of the ash from both the mounds and the nearby energy plants. If the ash dumps continue, the danger will be larger than now because the ash is harmful. Kosovo has a history of poor environmental practices in its energy and mining sectors. It now gets most of its energy from this power plant outside the city of Pristina. Nearby sits a defunct gasification plant dating from the 1950s, with its leaking wastes, some of which are toxic. Kosovo is now cleaning up its energy sector with support from international donors, including the World Bank. Look, Ibush Bublaku is a manager at Kosovo's energy corporation, Kek, which runs the energy stations. He explains to visitors that Kek has used the international donor finances to limit the amount of ash escaping into the environment through a new system which allows ash to be transported via closed ducts and pipes to an empty mine. The financing is also going toward the safe removal of hazardous chemicals left behind at the defunct gasification plant and to see whether the site can be rehabilitated. We are now in the process to review the different options and see what is the best option to treat these different chemicals. Government hired engineers are researching ways of leveling the ash mounds and covering them with dirt where trees and other vegetation could grow. And the government is now working out plans for a new energy station. The new plant would meet stricter European environmental rules and provide not only more energy for Kosovo, but energy that could be marketed to neighboring countries as well.